Hey everybody, welcome to DirectX 11 tutorial 19. In this tutorial we are going to look at fixing our window dimensions. So let's go to where we are creating our window. And down here we pass in the window X position, window Y position, and the width and the height. Now the problem with this is that when we go to test it, you'll see our width is actually our whole window's width. So that includes these borders on the side. So that's only 800 wide. And the height is the whole window's height. So that's only 600, including this whole title bar and everything. The problem with this is when we create our swap chain, uh, we, and everything, I mean, anything where we have to pass in our dimensions for the area we're rendering, we're passing in 800 by 600, but by default, that area will actually be less because of these borders we have. Now, we could change our window style to not have the borders, but for now, we want the borders, so that's actually not a proper solution. What we have to do is we have to adjust this rectangle that we are generating to account for this. Now, before we do that, I'd like to show why exactly this is a problem in case it's not too apparent. So back in our source.cpp, our current resolution is 800 by 600. So this is 4 by 3 for our ratio. So let's try a much smaller resolution that is also 4 by 3. Let's tr first let's try 400 by 300 and see what we get. Alright, so it, you can't tell too much of a difference. Uh, the triangle is just a little more squished. Now let's try something like uh, 120 by 90. Alright, it's still 4 by 3 and you see the triangle is more squished than it was before. Let's try something like uh, I guess 60 by 45, that'd still be 4 by 3. Alright, and at this point you, you can see a lot more of the width than the height because so much of the height is getting taken up by the title bar. And obviously you would never render a window this small, but the point is that there is, is space that's not being accounted for. Set this back to, well I guess we can leave that for now at 60 by 45 and do our fix to see the difference. Let's go back to where we are creating our window. All right, so what we are going to do is we're going to create something called a rect. It's going to be our window rectangle. And there's just a few things we have to define. We have to define our left, which is the uh, very left coordinate of our window, the x position. We have to define our top, which is the y position. We define the right, which will be the width. And we define the bottom, which is the height. Also, the right should really be the top. Plus, that was weird, plus the width. And the bottom should be the left plus the height. Oh, I got that backwards. The right is the left plus the width, and the bottom is the top plus the height. So that way, if we ever want to move the window from starting at the top left, we can just change the left or the top values. So next what we need to do is we're going to call something called adjust window rect. And this will adjust the rect uh, based off of our different window styles. So we pass in the address to the rectangle. We pass in these styles that we are using for our window. And then last is, we're just gonna set that argument to false and not worry about it. I think it's just if the window has a menu. Now for our X position, we're going to pass in the left for a Y position, we'll pass in the top. For a width, pass in the right. And for the height, and actually just to be clear, it won't be right and bottom because we have to take off the left and top in case we don't start at the very top left. So let's take off the left. And that way we're actually getting the width and height. Let's see what we get now if we debug this. Okay, so it looks a lot better as far as we can actually see our triangle now, but if you've noticed, 
the window is actually getting pushed off the screen up and to the left. To resolve this for now, we are just going to change our left and our top to be 50. So we start a little bit lower. And let's see if we can see our window now. All right, we can. We can, can't really drag it around. But uh, there, there we go. Yeah, there is our little window. Alternatively, let's say that we didn't want it to start at 50-50 and we wanted it to start at the center of the screen. An easy way we could do that is we can calculate the center screen X and Y by getting the, uh, the metrics for the screen and then divide by two to get the center. And then we want to offset by half of the window's width. And that way we'll have the window actually in the center of the screen and do the same thing with the height. We would just change the start position to be center screen X and the top to be center screen Y. And now when we debug it, we'll have it start in the middle and it looks a lot better than starting at the top left of our screen. All right, so the last thing before I end this, I'm just going to set it back to the normal resolution, run it one more time, make sure it looks right, and then end this tutorial. All right, and it looks fine. Notice the text, I'm not sure how well it will show up on the video. It looks better. It Before we were fixing the window rect, it looked a little bit strange. And even the triangle, uh, the edges, of course, we are not you know doing any kind of aliasing so they still look kind of crappy but it looks a lot better than it did but yeah that is all that we are going to cover for this tutorial in the next tutorial we are probably going to get into some very basic texturing